Colonial Rule, founding the first Republic in Asia. Since then, like all freedom-loving countries, the Philippines has experienced the highs and lows, the joys and pains of nationhood, overcoming world wars, global turbulence, and internal conflict as one people with a shared experience in a common future. The Philippines has earned our place in the family of nations, fighting for decolonization, and today, contributing to global peace and security, promoting human rights and equality, negotiating safe and orderly migration, and standing for climate justice through peaceful development and the rule of law. Our theme for this year's celebration, Kalayaan, Kinabukasan, Kasaysayan, Freedom, Future, History, reflects our maturity and aspiration as one nation in partnership with the international community. The Philippines and Russia share almost 50 years of diplomatic relations, but our people-to-people -people relations go back over 200 years. Under Tsar Alexander I, the Irish-American businessman Peter Dobel opened the first Russian consular post in the Asia-Pacific region in Manila in 1817. Then, at the height of the Cold War, President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. traveled here to Moscow to open our diplomatic relations on June 2, 1976. The following year, we opened our embassy here in the most beautiful of the Seven Sisters, Hotel Ukraine. We thank Mr. Stanislav Kondov, General Manager, and his great team for the exceptional arrangements for tonight's event. Sivonya, Mitakshe, and Pichayan, Mejdu Narodni, Dien Ruskava Yazika, Dien Kostinia Alexandra Pushkina, Katorik San, Para Maidrug, Para, Apoya Sierce Pros, Philippine Sibir, Sto Rusi Zip, Napatorong Gavaria, Dileski Shisisiak, Milionov Chelabek, Vagnovi Strana, Eta Zip Mira, Eta Slochnoye, Dilian Sek Nash Vrinia, Me, Monimsia, Omodrosi, Glia Nashi Lidero. Dimeste si narodani rasi i Ukraini. Ipsemi narodani mira. Mi modim siya o prekrasi ni agnya iyan chale pere govorov abeg staron pri padershke. Mejdu narodnobo so obsesva. Shtobe vehut Mir is private divos. Mi vierim, sto diplomatia, nesmatria mina sto, moje sigra, vajne ishiu rod mirna, hrazri sheni, etava elfita. To conclude, I wish to address my own compatriots in our own language, Filipino, which is also a language of peace. Bagaman tayo po ay malayo sa mahal nating Pilipinas, bagaman tayo din ay nahihirapan sa mga kagalapan, maswerte pa rin po tayo dito sa Moscow, dito sa Russia. Pabagit at matulungin ang mga Russo sa ating mga Pilipino. Patuloy po natin sufian ang kanilang kabalitan at pagtanggap sa atin sa pagrespeto ng kanilang mga pinahahalagahan at sa pagsunod sa kanilang mga batas. At patuloy po natin ipagdasal sa may kapal ang pagbalik ng kapayapaan, kaginhawaan, at katarungan sa pagitan ng dalawang bansa. At this point, At this point, uh, uh, please allow me to uh, raise a toast to 125 years of Filipino freedom, and to our friendship with 
Russia and the Russian people and all the peoples of the world. Mabuhay. Mabuhay.